Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to walk you through the new JD Speed Edit Portrait product. Now this product is a little different than a lot of my um, products in that it is not geared towards fine artists. It's actually geared t toward people who, um, maybe you are a fine artist, but you have personal photos that maybe you've done, for example, this is my uh, shot of my kid and some of his friends, and this is from prom. Um, I have photos that I take when family comes over, or my friends, and uh, birthday parties, etc. Things in my life that I don't necessarily have time to do a fine art edit on, but I want to give a little bit of polish. And so um, I am creating these so that if you're also um, in a similar position where you just want to give stuff a little polish and more move quickly, these actions should help you. So the first thing you do is you just select whether this photo is a normal uh, exposure or underexposure or if it is overexposed. Now this is normal to under so I'm going to go ahead and push the play button right here. And this is going to trigger a series of different steps that I've built in and um, there's going to be the default, which we'll see here in a second, and then you're going to be able to go into the folder and you can customize and you can add into the edit anything you want. So here was our before. Here's the JD Speed Edit, just straight out of the action. Now if you want to go in, you simply click here on the folder and it's going to have this drop down area where you can see all the different steps and options for you. So here's the exposure balance. This is going to lighten some of our darks and it's going to darken some of our highlights and bring back some detail. So mostly this is about uh, detail recovery and just balancing that exposure. Now the second thing you might want to look at doing is if you want to have any retouching, retouching or sharpening. I have two options here. This is for full body retouch and sharpening or this is for close up. So since this is a full body image, I'm going to go ahead and turn the little eyeball on here and you can see that instantly is sharpening it. Now I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to go here to the full body skin soften. I'm going to pick a white brush, go into the mask itself, I'm going to make my brush just a little bit smaller and I'm going to bring my opacity up to here at almost 50 percent and any areas here where perhaps I've got a little bit of um, a little bit of pimples here um, we're gonna just, or maybe there's a, it was a little hot, uh, any shiny skin, we're just gonna kind of soften the skin a little bit here. We can go very quickly. And I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'll zoom back out. Oops. And you know, that was just again very quickly. If you wanted to make any other tweaks, you can always paint into these uh, into these masks to either reveal more retouching options or to uh, not have certain areas be so sharp. Um, so next I'm gonna move to pink cheeks or soften the green any green tones. There's not a lot of green cast going on, but I can just brighten up cheeks here just a little bit if I want to. Uh, I can go in here and I can paint out a little bit of the redness, which I'm going to do on his face. And again, I'm just moving really quickly here. I don't have to. These are built so that you don't have to be very precise. Um, uh, brighten eyes, I might use this, but if the eyes were a little closer, but they're far enough away, I'm just not going to bother with that. Whiten teeth, maybe just a little bit. I'm going to get my brush smaller here and I'm just going to paint right in there. You can see it's a subtle brightening effect. Um, now these are just some uh, vignette things that you can add. These ones, these bottom two have color. So this is a warm light top uh, with the bottom and side vignette. Pardon me. This is a warm center with a vignette. This is a neutral top light and this is a center that is neutral with the vignette on the sides. Um, 
these are movable so if I wanted I could move that highlight area around if I wanted to um, I'm gonna leave I like that so I'm gonna leave that on uh, and if you wanted to go in and paint into any of the highlights you certainly could or you could skip this just depending on how much time you had so I'm gonna go in here with a soft brush and just paint here into cheeks and here we go uh, I could also paint in some shadows if I wanted to add a little contouring here totally up to you um, then this is just the contrast adjustment a saturation bump and uh, here's the before here's the after now you could stop there or you could also look at the um, there's some very subtle tones that I've added that um, I've named after uh, spices because we're just talking about adding a little bit of extra tone here to the image so I'll show you bay leaf caraway seed, celery seed, brown cumin, mustard, parsley and sage, peach and aloe, and rum raisin. So again, these are just very subtle um, tonal shifts. I think I ended up picking uh, parsley and sage. And uh, then, you know, you're basically done with this with this edit. So again, this was the before and this is the after and it's very quickly to do this and to just you know um, be able to uh, quickly bang out uh, you know work whether it's you know for for your actual you know holiday cards or whether it's personal uh, shots for yourself alright thanks so much for watching